we always believe in thinking global but acting local because the local tastes and preferences of consumers must be kept in mind while creating a value proposition for the Indian customer. At the same time, the international best practices, uh, leveraging our relationships with global suppliers, those are the opportunities that we bring and uh, we use as well to create a world-class experience for our customers. I think it's important to develop talent. It's very important to develop talent. So availability of talented people to uh, run and operate our cash and carry stores in the future is an important area of focus for us. The second area of focus, of course, is availability of land. And it's not easy to really find uh, large plots of land. Uh, we have put a team in place which can tackle this challenge. Uh, I think the third important thing, not as a challenge, but an important area of focus, will continue to be uh, the uh, women's uh, economic empowerment, not just in terms of women-owned businesses, but in terms of bringing those women in retail programs, uh, in increasing the diversity and inclusion in our workforce in Karnataka. We'll continue to focus on that. I really like the focus of the state government on the women's economic empowerment and the event that we attended just now, it was so exciting and, and exhilarating. Uh, it's a big part of our agenda globally for Walmart. Uh, globally we focus on three important things when it comes to women economic empowerment. Uh, the increasing sourcing from women owned businesses is a big part of the agenda. The second thing is increasing diversity and inclusion in the supplier base for merchandise as well as professional services. And the third important goal is empowering one million women through training. And we pretty much bring a similar program in terms of goals and initiatives to India as well. Uh, we'll now bring that into Karnataka as well, having signed an MOU today uh, with the state government to open 10 cash and carry stores over the next five years.